Hey guys, Tim here with You Can Man. Thanks so much for following along on this library renovation that I've been in the middle of, uh, working on for quite some time now. Uh, we had a really big design change that my wife made. Uh, originally, we were going to have the built-ins around the window, so the wall with the window, but instead, uh, she made the decision that she wanted the built-ins around the sofa. Uh, it's kind of more of a rare look, but it turned out amazingly well. So I've, I've actually already built uh, the majority of this. I'm still kind of doing some final touch-ups on it, but wanted to take just a few minutes and walk you guys through the SketchUp model that I built. So I am not a SketchUp pro by any means, but I've been slowly kind of learning it. If you don't know it or if you've never messed with it before, I strongly encourage you to try it out. Uh, it is quite of a bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, you'll be so glad that you did. So this helped me out a ton with all my uh, measurements building this thing. So let's start from the base. Uh, we actually got some wall cabinets from Home Depot. Um, and then what I did is I, I made a two by four riser for it to kind of bring it up off the floor and then also bumped it out away from the wall to kind of give it more of a built in stout look, make it kind of look bigger than it actually is. Um, I use three quarter inch birch plywood, so paint grade nice plywood on this entire uh, entire thing. So There's basically three boxes. I got the right, I got the middle, and I got the left box. And um, so these are just super stout. I used uh, dado cuts to do the uh, the shelving, uh, the, all the shelves. The first time I'd ever ever done that. First time I've ever really built anything like this, and. Um, so I had to do a lot of research and figuring stuff out, but it turned out really, really great. Um, here I'm showing you the one by two material that I faced everything with to cover up that end grain of the plywood and then also kind of gave the shelves a more thick look. Um, another aspect, I, I wired in the sconces and they run off of the same switch that I did the half hot outlet that I think I briefly showed in part in the part one video. So when you flip that switch, these sconces come on at the same time. It turned out amazingly well. I can't wait to show you guys part of the build process and then the final reveal on the next video. Thanks so much for following along. Make sure to subscribe and share this video wherever you can. Appreciate it. Thanks.